How funny is Gabriel Iglesias? Let's find out. So we did a, a reaction to Gabriel Iglesias on a racist uh, gift bag. I thought that was hilarious, all right? I'm new to him. This is like my second reaction to him. I want to know why you guys like him. You know, that's always good to know. Have you ever seen him at a show? Tell me a story, you know, about him. Uh, on this channel, we're all about honoring the legends, you know, uh, you know, legends of comedy, legends of basketball. You know, we got it. Make sure you look on the uh, channel and see if something that you could watch. Um, I want to get this video to 500 likes so we can push it all the way out on the algorithm, all right? Make sure you guys smash that like button. And without further ado, let's get right into it. Before I go, I just got a, one more good story to tell you. I took, a, I took a road trip about a year ago after I got rid of the Beetle in the SUV. Took a road trip from L.A. to Phoenix to go perform at this club. Let me tell you who's in the car. I'm driving. I got my buddy Armando riding shotgun. He's another fluffy guy. We call him sexy bitch. <laughs> well, I don't call him that. His wife calls him that. He's a sexy bitch. Anyway, <laughs> in the back seat, I got my friend Martin. Next to him is my friend Felipe. So we take off. We're on the 10 freeway. We're passing all these Indian casinos. <laughs> Sorry, we're stupid like that. Anyway. All of a sudden, all these cars start passing me, right? I'm getting annoyed because I'm driving a... I said, next car that tries to pass me, I'm not going to let him. So I'm looking in the rearview mirror, waiting, looking, waiting, waiting, and I see a silver dot. The silver dot turned out to be a little car with two hoochies in it, right? So some of you guys are going, how do you know they're hoochies? Because my friend Martin was in the back seat going, I feel a disturbance in the force. <laughs> They tried to go around and I cut them off. <laughs> I'm having fun. They're back there. Whatever. <laughs> My friend Felipe is in the back seat yelling at me. Fool, what are you doing? I go, dude, don't worry. I'm having fun. Gary, you're going to get pulled over. Dude, I'm okay. It's cool. We're arguing, going back and forth. I'm not paying attention. I don't see a California highway patrol officer creeping up on us. All of a sudden, I hear, I look at the speedometer, 102. Oh, Oh, man. I freaked out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the little car that was behind me with the two hoochies, they got pulled over because they were going just as fast. You know, <laughs> I'm in the front seat of my car freaking out. Oh, my God, I'm going to jail. I can't I'm on the verge of tears. From the back seat, I hear my friend Felipe. Fool, what are you crying for? What are you crying for, fool? You're not the one with weed in his pocket, are you? <laughs> Real quick, you know what I love about him? Them sound effects that this guy makes is amazing. You know what I mean? It takes a lot to tell a story in so much detail that you can add sound effects to make it vivid. You know what I mean? And he makes it so that you can really, like, understand the story. And I kind of respect him for that. You know, write respect in the comments if you got a respect for uh, Fluffy, man. Verge of tears from the back seat. I hear my friend Felipe. Fool, what are you crying for? What are you crying for, fool? You're not the one with weed in his pocket, are you? California. Uh, well, this was years ago, right? You have drugs in the car? I told you to slow down, didn't I? But no, Pikachu knows everything. Shoot, everybody roll down your window. I heard the car, Mondo fart, do something, man. Don't go. The cop walks over the window, looks in, sees my face, recognizes me from TV, right? He's like, hey, I know you. You're a comedian. <laughs> yeah, you're that guy from Comedy Central. You're the guy that does that joke about his friend at a hotel, and you crank call him, and you call him a dirty Mexican, and then you go, but it was funny, huh? Oh, I love that joke. That one, and when you go, chocolate cake. Oh, I love that joke. <laughs> I hate to do this to you, but we got two cars involved. I need your license and registration. Okay, here you go. Here you go. So he takes my info, goes back to the car with the two girls in it, right? The whole time he's back there, I tell everybody in the car, check it out. He just recognized me from TV. Maybe if we have some fun with him, crack some jokes, maybe he won't take the car. 
I don't care if I get a ticket, but as long as he doesn't take the car. Mama. All right, hold on. Was this a good idea? Would you crack the jokes? Because I'm not cracking no jokes. When you're in a situation that's serious, ain't no joke cracking none of that. If you're in a car with somebody and they cracking jokes, you're like, oh, hell no. Nah. We trying to get the fuck up out of here. He just recognized me from TV. Maybe if we have some fun with him, crack some jokes, maybe he <laughs> nah. won't take the car. I don't care if I get a ticket, but as long as he doesn't take the car. Mando, be silly, crack a joke. Martin, be funny. Felipe, what, fool? Shut the hell up. <laughs> so the cop comes back to the car. What That's the crazy. hell were you doing out there? Before I could think of something funny to say, from the back seat I hear, fool, he was testing the suspension. <laughs> oh, my God, this pothead's going to get me arrested. <laughs> Officer, I'm sorry. That's my friend Felipe. That's the guy from the special. That's the guy who says, but it was funny, huh? He's just trying to get me in trouble. I'm really sorry. Whatever. So he goes back to his squad car with my driver's license, and he's swiping it in a computer. The whole time he's doing that, he's being yelled at from the back seat of my car. Hey, officer, thank God you have a computer. Last week we got stopped in Mexico. That fool had a Rolodex. <laughs> the cop starts dying. <laughs> Hey, yo, do you realize he is speaking for four people? Like, this is real talent, bro. He's really talented. Bro. I want y'all to definitely write talented as well, because, yo, this is talented. He's speaking for four people in it, five people with the cop. My car. Six with his son. Hey, officer, thank God you have a computer. Last week we got stopped in Mexico. That fool had a Rolodex. <laughs> the cop starts dying. <laughs> I go, oh, we got him going, we got him going. I tell my buddy Mondo, give me my CDs. I take out my Bad Boys 2 soundtrack oh, and I pop CDs. it in. Track three is the theme song to cops. I tell my friend Felipe, tell me when the cop starts walking. Okay, oh, here he comes. I crank that song as loud as I could. <laughs> Bad Boys, watch you going, watch you going, watch you going to do. <laughs> Best part, now the cop is walking to the beat. <laughs> Even better than that, the two hoochies in the car can hear the music and they're freaking out. They're like, oh my God, we're going to be on TV. <laughs> the cop goes to the girls, gives them a ticket, lets them go. Hold on, this is not six people. This is like seven people. Because if well, he didn't do the other girl, but if he does the other girl, that's seven people. Looks at our car, and at this point, we're like halfway through the song, right? We're like, hey, buddy, gonna be don't break it. Please don't give it no way. I don't sue you. I'm a little bit, little bit. Hey, yo, look, if the police put you right now, somebody had a gun in your head, and they said, say the verse to the song. Right? Would you live or die? Right in the comments right now. Would you live or die if the person asked you, yo, you can only say the words to the song. Would you live or die? Because I don't know the words. I say exactly what he just said. I'd be like, I could do the thing on the cocaine. We're like, Police not give it no break. I don't soldier. I'm a limer. 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 I'm a Got our arms off the window like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> the cop is in the middle of the freeway dying. <laughs> yeah, he walks over crazy. the window and he's like, shut it off! <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Hands me my license and the registration and he tells me, Gabriel, I want you to do me a big favor. I want you to keep this tank under 100. You think you can do that? <laughs> Do that for me, keep on doing what you do, and you have yourself a nice day. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's it? No ticket? No ticket. I don't know what possessed me to look at this man and go, why? Oh. How come the girls got a ticket? Oh. And he tells me the coolest thing. He says, because they couldn't make me laugh. <laughs> You know what's funny is like this is a I would do you think this is a real story? I think it is. I think it's a hundred percent real story. Like he really like I would love to chill with him and have him just tell me stories just the way that he does it. He's like a really he's the master storyteller. Real talk. He really is. He really is a good storyteller.
You don't understand, Gabriel. I've been on the force now for 26 years. This is hands down the funniest damn traffic stop I've ever been a part of. Do you have any idea how hard it is to give two sluts a ticket while listening to cops? <laughs> I damn near pissed myself I was laughing so hard. Uh, this is going in the books is one of the funniest things ever happened to a police officer. I swear to God. The only story better than this one is a buddy of mine pulled over some fat guy that gave him donuts. Ah, hell no. Yeah, he's funny as hell. Uh, that sounds like a cop joke, though. You know, you know, a cop joke don't be funny at all. He's like, ha, 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 then get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> So he starts like walking away, right? And just as I'm about to start the car. <laughs> oh, man. So does that mean I can keep my weed? <laughs> I turn around to yell at my friend. Too late, the cop is at the window. You want to run that by me again, son? You heard what I said, fool. Oh, oh you think this is a big joke, don't you? You think that just because I gave your buddy here a break, I know who he is, I like what he does. I don't know you, I don't like you. Step out of the car. Oh, man. I turn around and my friend Felipe is like, ooh, I am so scared. And the cop pulls out his gun. I'm freaking out, I'm like, oh my God. Back seat, my friend Felipe. Ooh, ooh, I am so scared. Fool, he is good, he is good. Then he points it at him. The look on my friend Felipe's face. <gasps> Priceless. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm gonna go to jail? I'm gonna go to jail? The cop was like, shh, shh, nah. But that was funny, huh? That <laughs> good. That was good. <laughs> I love you, Bakersfield. Gabriel Iglesias, man, I, I can't lie. This is definitely hilarious, man. Um, I'm like, feel weird that I have not been on this man for a while, but I'm appreciating the journey. In order for me to complete this journey and keep this journey going, I need suggestions from you guys, so drop that in the comments. I'm also at 40,000. We're on our way to 1 million subs, so make sure y'all subscribe, hit the top bell, and I'll see y'all on the next one.